for a punt. And I think that's what Brett's saying. That's not reviewable. Oh, duck. First pass is. That was a shellacking of Sean Shivers. 6'1, 195 pounds, and he shows you that when you come with technique and put your pad level down, the head to the yeah. right side, exactly why you do yeah. it, and teach it. Clean attack, man. Unbelievable pressure. And he hit him with a shoulder. Uh huh. Perfectly clean. But look, he just read it from the jump. Irons came middle. It was caught, but absolutely rocked again. But he got rocked right there. It's a great call by St. Francis defensive coordinator Scott Lewis. Troy just two of six on third down. Oh, of their last four facing the pressure here. And that play destined to fail as Otis Reese lowers the boom. That's a clean hit. Not only is that a big hit, that's a smart play from a veteran defender. You can still bring a violent shot. Taking any shots downfield gives these guys a chance. You got playmakers. Uyangale over the middle. Big hit at the 40-yard line and got it driven back by Jalen King. Off the Florida State timeout. Daniels straight ahead. Good pursuit and then driven back. Form tackle that time by Renardo Green. And those hurt so bad too <laughs> as a quarterback. You got to pop up. I mean, you do because everybody's looking. Can Cinderella keep the slipper on? Kronowski fires. Incomplete. No flag down. Mike, what do you got? Well, I'm just looking at it, and to me, what you're looking at, of course, as we know, he is defenseless, so it's contact to the head or neck area. But I think this is chest. I think it's the upper part of the chest. It's a yep. big hit, but I just don't think it's a foul. Now almost hit the tight end in motion on the snap. A little confusion oh, trying wow. to hit his running back, Manon guy, but he was laid out by Jason Matry. Matry is eyeing up the target. Boom! Man, good timing on that play. Didn't get there too early. Good hit, legal hit. Watch Brown, watch Chase. Oh, what a great Hammered. defensive play. Boy, was it's he out. Hard. It's out. That ball is out, and it's recovered by Indiana. Noah Pierre is the guy. He's the one, man. They call that Husky position a Husky position for a reason. He delivered a big time blow right there and just made him give that ball up. Great job of being physical at the point of attack, making a play. Third time tonight. Tyler with a path and a cut. Oh, he down high and the ball came out. Ball was on the field. It looks like it's Michigan State's ball again. They had players around it. This would be a, this is huge. Kendall Brooks forced the fumble. Michigan State takes over. First game stuff, Roy. Penalties and turnovers always show themselves in the very first week. Second and ten. On the bootleg, McDonald. Nobody's open. McDonald still looking. Now throws to midfield. Finally finds an open receiver as C.J. Lewis gets blasted at midfield but hangs on as Kenny Churchwell. I'm feeling the effects of the blast from Kenny Churchwell. Put the shoulder right into the midsection. And he's Lewis, still hunched yeah, over. He's still a little. He's working through pre snap penalties, procedure issues. Williams, he is drilled. DJ Williams thought about throwing and nothing doing as that tech defense comes crashing in. And he feels that was very important. Earned the respect and trust of his new teammates. No, Whittington got for a loss. There is still some talent on this Georgia defense. That's one of the three returning starters, Chris Smith. Rolling inside, 14 minutes, four receivers for McDonald. And out of the backfield, another powerful hit from UCLA. Devin Kirkwood crushing Jamal Johnson. Third and nine for Pitt. Slovis again over the middle and a big hit on Mumfield. And that was Marcus Floyd. That's what this game is all about. Marcus Floyd, Marcus Floyd driving downhill on that slant. Good clean hit. Leads with his shoulder, keeps his head out of it. And upset them on 
their home field. Fourth down throw to the flat. It's destroyed. Armani Marsh, reputed as the smartest player on the field, saw it coming. What a play by the fifth-year senior. They have 30 seconds to close it out. Grant Wells needs a lot of yards. Down the sideline, into the Virginia Tech bench. Well, how about this throw from Grant Wells? He puts it right over on the sideline where it has to be. I mean, just a dime. Only puts it where his guy can get it. And the safety for Old Dominion with the play of maybe the game. Oh my goodness, helmets come flying off as J.J. Pegues lowers the boom. I do think that while the helmet came off, I don't see it. I don't see him leading with the crown of the helmet. Just pops off. Coming up. After review, there is no targeting. 